Did you ever want to add your own custom texture to a garment or an accessory in Clothe3D, but didn't know how to? Or maybe you created your own material or a swatch of a textile, and you want to add that to your Clothe3D project. In this video, I will show you how you can bring an image of your own custom-made material, give it similar properties of drape and texture to make it look like the real thing, and apply it to your garments or accessories in Clothe3D. These textiles look really fun, they're beautiful, bright colors, lots of pattern, but we can't really use a fabric that is folded up. We need a perfectly flat swatch that gives us an exact repeat, if that's what we're going to use, or an engineered print, or something that has a edge that we can use at the hem. Once you have your swatch or material ready, make sure that you have it perfectly flat on the ground, on a table, any flat surface, and take a well-lit photo of it. Next, you wanna remove the background of your swatch. I'm doing mine in Photoshop, selecting all of the dark colors, and then deleting it. Clean up the swatch, make sure there's no dark colors. And if there's any holes in the swatch, you wanna remove that too. I also wanna crop my swatch all the way edge to edge where I'm only seeing textile. I don't wanna see any of the background because I wanna make sure that this is a repeat swatch. Let's say I'm putting it on a sleeve. I wanna make sure that it wraps around. So I'm gonna crop it exactly to the area that I want on top. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna bring it as close as possible to the edge, but where I see still the fringe. Once my swatch is ready, I'm gonna save it as a PNG file. And now I am ready to bring my swatch in Clothe 3D and work with it on my garment. I also like very much the transparency in this swatch and I wanna bring this one to use as an engineered placement on a garment. The next step in Clothe 3D is to have your avatar garment ready to go. You should really think about what this fabric is and then choose the same exact fabric in Clothe 3D or a fabric that has very similar qualities. You want the fabric on the avatar to be draping the same exact way as this fabric. So let's say if this is organza or chiffon or something else that's transparent, then I will come to my library, I will go to fabric and I will look for something similar, if not the same exact thing. So let's say this could be my silk organza. I can see that it is a particular thickness and weight and that it is a transparent fabric. That will ensure that the fabric that I'm using will behave exactly as or very similarly to my swatch. So I'm going to select my pattern pieces and then I'm going to assign the silk organza. Now I know that the fabric that I'm draping on top of the avatar will drape exactly as the swatch that I'm bringing in. The process from here on is very simple. We're using this fabric as the base of our garment because it will behave exactly as our swatch. Then we will come to the property editor and we will bring the swatch as a texture that will become the visual effect of that fabric. And then we can also bring a normal map, an opacity map, a roughness map, and anything else that we need in order to bring all of the qualities that we visually need for this garment to look like our swatch. This swatch will not be a repeat print. This will be an engineered texture. So I'm going to leave it as it is but I do want to generate a normal map so I am coming to Photoshop and I'm going to generate a normal map and a height bump map that I can use in Clo. So here is my normal map. I also like to use this normal map generator. It's a free tool online and you can upload your own picture here and generate your own map. All you have to do is drag and drop your own file here and it will generate the map for you. Next step in the process is to open up the fabric that you're working on, make sure the property editor is open, and we will bring in the texture, normal map, and displacement map. You can delete the texture and the normal map we're bringing our own here, and then you can come and navigate here to the browser feature, that's the four little square here, and navigate to wherever your swatch is. And keep in mind that it does matter how big your swatch is. I don't want this to be small swatch repeat. I want this to be 
large engineered print. I would advise to actually bring the normal map, displacement map, and then play with the scale and everything else so everything matches perfectly. I will bring my normal map the same way. I'm gonna left click once here on the browser feature, bring in the normal map, and then bring in the displacement map. Displacement map is right here on the normal map. Now that I have all of my maps, I can also play with the intensity. And for displacement map, I would give it a value that's bigger than zero, zero. I'm gonna give it a five right now. And then I'll check and see if this makes sense in the render window. Now I can come here and play with the edit texture. I'm gonna select the fabric. I'm gonna make sure that my grain is oriented the way I like it. And then I'm going to play with the scale because I want this to be a much larger swatch. I'll do the same for the back. Make sure that I'm happy with the placement. So my back looks better now. My front looks good. I am happy with this placement. I'm going to come here and play with the opacity a little bit more and make sure that I am actually happy with what this fabric looks like. And now if I simulate, I will see how this fabric moves, how it drapes. It is really draping like the fabric that I want. Now, in order to see the texture and the textile here, I will start the render window. Now, looking at the render window, you can see how light and transparent the fabric is here around the edges. Obviously, this is a very delicate fabric, so it's a bit harder to see all of the details that we want to convey with the textures. But you can see the difference between the 3D window here and here, the lightness of the layers as they fold over each other. You can see that the yarn here is a lot darker than it is here. That's because we do have the various maps layering on top of each other. For the next example, I'm going to change this fabric to this denim raw, which is a much heavier, much thicker fabric, and it drapes in a completely different way. So I selected all of my patterns and I will assign the raw denim. I actually want to change this color to something lighter because the swatch that I will bring is a much much lighter color. So I'm going to come here to my property editor. I'm going to open texture and I will hit desaturation on. That completely removes all color and now I can start anew with a fresh color that matches exactly what I want. What I want to do is add this swatch to the edge of the hem and knowing that this is a much thicker, much heavier fabric, I do want my dress to be thicker and heavier. I also want to have a piece here at the bottom of the hem that will actually be specifically for this swatch. So I'll cut off a piece of pattern here and I will add this. I also want to match the color. I'm going to select this denim raw and I'm going to change the color here. I'm going to go to a color that's a bit closer to my fabric. Next, if you know and you should know exactly what the width of your fabric swatch is, we're going to come here and we're going to designate a particular width for that swatch. You can add it in addition to this below or we can select and offset as internal line the width of the swatch. So I'm going to offset about five centimeters. Obviously you can work in whatever measurements you like. I don't want to have the same exact fabric here and here because it will place the swatch on both of them. So what I'll do is I will come to my object browser, select the fabric that I want and I'm going to copy it. Or alternatively you can bring in a new fabric that resembles in quality the textile of your swatch. So this one I'm also going to rename. So that's going to be my trim with fringe. Once I've created the internal lines, what I need to do is cut and sew. So these are two separate pattern pieces and then I'll designate different fabric to them. So right click and choose cut and sew. This way it will cut the pieces and sew them at the same time. And I'll choose the same for the other one. Now in the object browser, I can select the different pattern pieces and make sure that for the bottom pieces, I will designate this new textile here. That will be my trim fringe. And this way, when I have my trim, it will only come onto this particular fabric. Let's open up the property editor. We're going to select the trim fringe. And now I'm going to bring in the texture, normal map, displacement map for just the trim pattern piece. You can grab the file and drop it directly on top here. The same for normal map. Grab the normal map for that piece. Also drop it on top here. And the same for displacement map. I can see 
see that they're not perfect here, I'm going to come and work with my edit texture tool to make sure that they align perfectly. The rest of my textile piece is transparent. So this looks like it is attached as a separate pattern piece here. Because my pattern piece is curved here, I may have to remedy this. Otherwise, this will not be aligned perfectly. As I'm aligning it on one side, then I can see it appearing in a different angle on the other side. So I deleted all the curved points here. I straightened out the hem for both the front and the back. This already looks a lot better. For the front, we still have a bit of mismatch. And that is because you can see here that the grain is at an angle. With my edit texture tool, I'm going to grab the grain for this piece and I'm going to straighten it out. And you can see that it's starting to match here very well. If the edge is too far away, I could also actually come in here in the 2D window and get much closer to any of these lines by adding points in certain areas and then manipulating where these points are. For example, I can mimic this a bit closer, adding a point wherever I needed to, and then just moving it so it follows the contour of my textile. This will actually help the fabric move a little bit better and behave more like the tassels. I've chosen a heavier textile, so you can see how the drape and the move of the fabric is that of a much heavier textile. We don't see any of the underlying fabric, we just see this move. Now it is moving as one continuous fabric because my edge is one continuous line. Now let's see if I cut out a bit more pieces here, how the individual tassels will move a lot better. I'm getting these as close as possible to the edge so that I can achieve that look of individual tassel pieces that will move as individual pieces. Obviously, I can also come in here and I can smooth these lines, make them more curvy and really mimic what the fabric edge looks like at the bottom here. So as the fabric is moving, I have individual tassel fabric pieces that, especially in the render window, they will move a lot better. I can see the textile of the denim here forming. And I can also see here the thickness of the texture and the weave of this also forming really well. We can see at 25% here, individual texture pieces are clearly seen here and my tassels look like they're hanging like actual tassels. So here's an even easier, quicker way to make a garment with your custom fabric swatch. First of all, make sure that the underlying fabric has the qualities of your swatch, then bring the swatch as a texture. You could even just drag and drop it on top of the garment. Make sure the first time you're choosing texture so that it gets applied on top of the garment. Click OK. Then bring it again. This time, when you drop it on top of the 3D window, choose normal map so your swatch gets applied as a normal map. Then bring it one more time drop it again and this time bring it as a roughness map click ok then we can open up the property editor select that particular fabric and make sure that the texture normal map also a displacement map let's bring that in there that all of these have the amount the qualities the quantities that you'd like it to be give 10 here make sure that this roughness also reflects my desired look now you can select the edit texture tool and you can make sure that the placement of your textile is exactly where and how you want it to be now you can also work on the scale on the rotation and anything and everything else that you need to adjust on that particular garment or accessory and now you can come to the render window Take a careful look at the textures here and make sure that the displacement, the roughness map, everything reflects your particular desire and the look that you want and make adjustments in the property editor. And that's it. 
That's how you can bring your own texture and create your own garment with your particular textile. Thank you for watching. Let me know what kind of wonderful textiles and textures you're creating and feel free to ask any questions you like.